I do go with it going to rain today. Probably not. Today in Sirencester, there's only a very slight chance of rain. So, ever since I'd seen them on YouTube, I'd wanted to have a go at building a cardboard planetarium. And being in lockdown, it seemed like a good enough time as any to give it a go. I had played around with making geodesic domes, which are formed from triangles arranged into hexagons and pentagons like this. And the dome is created by arranging hexagons around the outside of a pentagon. Using rolled up paper and split pins, I made a prison for my children. And in my classroom, I combined domes and used straws and split pins to make an earth and a sun to go along with the space theme. To make the planetarium, the triangles were cut into cardboard and the whole thing was raised up on rectangular pieces. My plan was to make the biggest possible planetarium from A1 cardboard which needed 75 triangles and 15 rectangular pieces, giving a total diameter of 3 metres. At the edge of each piece I left roughly a 4cm tab. I drilled holes in these and then I used nylon bolts, two of them, to attach each piece to the next. This process left lots of identical offcuts, interesting shaped triangles, so naturally we made some wings. I was pretty pleased with how it turned out. I chose cardboard that was white on one side so it would be ideal as a projector screen. I was hoping that this cheap convex mirror would do a reasonable job of bouncing the light from the projector around the dome, but in reality it was rubbish. I think more research, and probably money, is needed to achieve a good result here. However, it didn't really matter. A straight projection onto the dome seemed to work a treat. Google, is it going to rain tomorrow? Yes, it'll rain in Sirencester tomorrow from 8pm to 4am.
Uh-oh.